Philippines is home to several magnificent structures reflecting its strong connections to the European world. Located in the district of Molo, Iloilo City, is the Church of St. Anne, a Gothic structure that has stood for approximately 200 years and bore witness to the unfolding of numerous events, making it an irreplaceable treasure in both religion and history. Set in the early 1900s, the church construction was led by Father Pablo Montano in 1831 and was completed by Father Agapito Buenaflor in 1888 under the guidance of Don Jose Manuel Loxin. Initially, the church was built with Tabik Pampango, a thin wall consisting of woven bamboo strips plastered with lime and sand. This was the commonly used construction technique to make up for the lack of rock stone, manpower, and funding. The church was later converted to a stone structure using coral rocks, which were cut to fit each other and bonded through a mixture of lime, sand, and egg whites. Looking closely, the exterior facade boasts Gothic and Renaissance elements, from the towering spires on the belfries to the evenly arranged Corinthian columns, giving it a strong sense of symmetry and verticality. The facade features arched window and door openings, along with intricate circular stone window traceries. It also has a unique stained glass window of its patron saint and above it a recessed niche medallion of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The pediment has a small sculpture of the saint while a cross rests on top of it. What makes this church so grand is the presence of bell towers flanking the facade along with its pyramidal red spires. The church follows a Latin cross plan much like the other Gothic churches. The interior is overflowing with grace and grandiosity from the shallow arched ceiling supported by pillars designed as Corinthian columns. Our attention is redirected to the focal point which is the intricately carved wooden retablo with gold accents housing the sculpture of Saint Anne along with Mary and the Holy Spirit at the end of the hall. A distinguishing feature of this church is the presence of 16 female saint sculptures, which earned it the nickname the Feminist Church. St. Anne Parish Church was declared as a World Heritage Site and a National Landmark in 1992. Apart from being made an evacuation center during the World War II, Jose Rizal visited the church during his exile from Tapitan to view the collection of biblical paintings. And that sums up the Church of St. Anne from Iloilo City. Thanks for watching!